Man, I love taking my dog for a walk. Sometimes I just wish that there was a string trick that just captured the emotion and the feeling of this experience. Thankfully there is. And my friend Rachel Parker is going to teach you that trick. Today we are going to learn the walking dog. So first I'm gonna show you guys the end result and then I'll teach you how to do it. Now the walking dog is a pretty fun trick. It's got a lot of cool moves on the way there. It even has a little cat face halfway through the trick. So I'll teach you how to do all this in just a minute. But here is the dog and it even walks. All right, let's learn how to do it. So for this trick, you're going to put your thumb and pinky in like normal, but not at the very ends of the string. So not out here. When you pick it up, you're gonna keep them close together like this, okay? And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pointer fingers and you're gonna bring them past this string that's stretching there and you're gonna pick it up. So you twist your pointer fingers like that, okay? Now before I stretch my hands out, I also am going to share the string on my thumbs. So I'm gonna take one thumb and put it in here to share that. I'm gonna take the other thumb and put it in here to share that. Now I'm ready to stretch my hands out and use the whole string. Okay, so I've stretched my hands out and in the center of here there is an X. And in this X, one string is on top of the other. So I can see this string is on the top of the X. That is the string that I'm going to pick up. I'm going to use my pinkies and I'm going to grab it. So here's my pinkies. I'm going to come and I'm gonna hook the top of that string now to get the other side of that string, I have to come under here and hook this side of that string. I'm going to pull that string out, and as I'm doing that, the string that was on my pinkies falls off. Okay, so here we are. Looks like what this. What we're going to do is we're going to use our thumbs, and we are going to hook the string in front of our thumbs while we drop the other strings off of our thumbs. So, I bring my thumbs forward, to the string that's coming from each one. I hook my thumb around it, and as I am doing that, the other string will fall off my thumbs naturally. So I'll show you that again. I hooked the string in front of my thumbs, the other string falls off, and then I can stand my thumbs back up, okay? Now, I am going to share the string that's on my pointer finger with my thumb. So I take my thumb and I put it into the same hole as my pointer finger. But I keep my pointer finger in there as well. And now I want to get the bottom string on my thumbs off. So there's string on the bottom there and I want to get it off. The easiest way to do this is to use your pointer finger to clamp that down on your thumb and then I can just hook my thumb down through there and it will come off my thumbs and then, as I stand my thumbs up, I can also take my pointer fingers out of here. And look, there's that cat face we were talking about. Now the cat has a mouth here in the middle. Those are the strings that we are going to be using and we're gonna make a series of moves with those strings. So first, I need to get those strings. So I use my pointer finger and I'm gonna hook those two strings. Then, there's a hole where my thumb is. I'm gonna bring my pointer finger up to that hole and out of that hole, okay? Then I come down here to this bottom string and I grab that string with my pointer finger and I bring it out through the hole of my pointer finger. Then I'm gonna bring my pointer finger back out this thumb hole, so I just jab it out here, okay? Now this string that's on my pointer finger now, I am going to grab that with my other pinky. So this pinky on this side, I'm gonna drop the string that's there, I'm gonna bring my pinky over here, and I'm gonna take that away from my pointer finger. And look, we are almost there. Let me show you guys that part again because it's a little tricky. So I come here to the cat's mouth, these two strings in the middle, and I hook them with my pointer finger. I'm gonna hook them and I'm gonna pull them back. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna bring my pointer finger through this hole with my thumb. So I take my pointer finger up here, 
and I bring it out through that thumb hole. Then, I'm gonna use my pointer finger and I wanna come and grab this string on the bottom. So I hook that with my pointer finger and I'm gonna pull that one string out through my pointer finger hole. So I've pulled that back behind and then the last thing is I'm gonna reach my pointer finger up here to this thumb hole and just press my pointer finger out through that thumb hole. So you see, it's coming way out here. And that makes it more available then for my pinky when I bring this other pinky over here to grab that. The last step is I wanna grab this side string but in the middle of the dog. So how I do that is I take my pointer finger and I have to come down in this hole and unwind my way through the dog's body. So I'll show you that again. I take my pointer finger, I come down here under these two strings that are making up the dog's body, and I just wedge my finger in there so that it can coil around and find the string on the side. Now that I have it, I can drop this thumb and this pinky. So I just have this string on my pointer finger. I pull that and stand it up. I can use all my fingers to stand it up. And there's the dog. And if you pull gently on this string in your right hand, the dog will run or walk. You can even, if you gently grab his head, you can bring him back and he can run again and again and again. And when you're ready to take it apart, all you do is grab this second ear. If you grab the second ear, it will all come apart and the dog is done.